cheeky and wiggly. <laughs> At just 11 months, Piper is getting a chiropractic adjustment. We just come once a week um, and it keeps her pretty regular. And if you listen closely, you can hear it. One, two, three, jump. It's not her first time. This is part of a routine to address Piper's digestive struggles. I do think that that helps with her um, stomach with being able to release the gas in her stomach. More parents are getting comfortable with this idea. We're very open to more of the like holistic. We come once a week. At True Light Chiropractic in Salina, Texas. You want to get adjusted? About half of the patient population is kids and babies. We always suggest to get the baby in as soon as possible. Chiropractic doctor duo Colton Wood and wife Kelsey use activators and pediatric toggle headpieces to provide quick and specific adjustments on these tiny spines. All right, you ready? Oftentimes, it's the mom's intuition that brings them in, and it's oftentimes the husband or the dad who is like, oh, it's like a pediatric massage, like what are they gonna do? And we hear that all the time, and then just throughout care, they start to see the results, and it starts to speak for itself. Oh, you're so good. Backed by the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association, the husband and wife team are Webster certified, which is a pregnancy-specific technique. One, two, three. So a lot of it is still cartilage, it's not necessarily even bones like people would think. So what we're actually doing is we're holding pressure points on the babies and we like to describe it as like if you were to hold your finger on a stick of butter and wait for it to melt, then that would be the same exact thing that we're feeling under our hands. So. The big three conditions that draw parents to pediatric chiropractors are colic, acid reflux, and ear infections. Our daughters had a lot of trouble with ear infections, so that was kind of our biggest reason for getting her in. But does it work? Amy, who brings all four of her kids in every week. Let's start with your neck. Says yes. I reached out to a couple of children's hospitals in Dallas and pediatricians and orthopedic surgeons. None of them wanted to touch this topic. Here's what the American Academy of Pediatrics says. Evidence is lacking when it comes to chiropractic care, especially with infants and children. The AAP goes on to say the risk of adverse events may be the highest because of immature stability of the spine. That serious complications are possible, but rare. So we're doing his neck first. Tell that to dad Troy Sebo. First adjustment was two hours after he was born. And we chose to do this because as the babies are delivered, they're having to be contorted in different ways and there's a lot of stress that's put on the spinal column and the nervous system. Relieving stress around the spine signals the body to return to a more calm, resting state, a departure from that flight or fight mode. Wood says that opens doors for healing, adapting and growth. <coughs> Parents just know there's something about this that keeps their families and thousands more coming back. Seems like the grander population is starting to look into more natural ways of healing and adapting and looking into health that way. And so we're very excited to be on the forefront of that. In Salina, I'm Sonia Azad.